Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. Today we are going to be working on this little drop leaf table that I found on the side of the road. The hinges um, that hold the leaves up or allow the leaves to go up, they were really wonky. So they didn't actually go all the way up. You can see that the leaf actually hits the side of the table. So I decided that I am just going to remove those completely and turn this into kind of like a console table, entry table, something like that um, so that it won't have the leaves anymore. And then here's where I actually found it on the curb. And then you might recognize that piece behind it. That was my ugly duckling piece. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the description below. Like I stated, I'm going to go ahead and start by removing all the leaves and just completely taking everything apart and unscrewing everything that I can. After I was done taking everything apart, I took some Dawn dish soap and I gave everything a really good clean. And then I did go back with just some clean, clear water and wipe back any soapy residue that was left over as well. I'm gonna be staining the top of this. So I started off with my orbital sander and I worked my way up from an 80 to a 240 grit. And I am sanding both sides of the tabletop. I do like to sand both sides and stain both sides. Um, anytime I can completely get the top off, it just makes for a more finished look. After sanding, I like to pour some mineral spirits on my wood. This will just help me see if there's any swirl marks that I need to keep sanding out or if I missed any areas where there's still some original finish. And then you just let it dry and then I go over and sand it real quick after that. The sides of this tabletop are curved and rounded. So I'm gonna use my DIY surf prep hack where I just put a sponge in between the sandpaper on my palm sander so that I can sand around any curved edges without flattening them out. To fill in the screw holes from where the hinges were, I am using this DAP plastic wood filler, which is stainable. And this was actually sent to me from one of my subscribers. So thank you, Mary. She sent this to me from my Amazon wish list. So if you guys want to help support the channel, I do have that linked below. I also realized that since I removed the leaves, you'll probably be able to see the edge of that base. So when I put it back together, I'm just going to turn it and attach it the opposite direction. Then using a sanding sponge, I gave the entire base and everything a really good scuff sand so that it would be ready for paint. For the top, I chose to use Verithane Gel Stain in the color Kona, and I am applying this with a staining pad, and I only did one coat. This is a really pigmented stain. Today's video is sponsored by Mango Paint. They sent me a bunch of products to try, so I am going to be using all of these in today's project. They sent me the paint color Zachary, which is a really pretty like medium gray. I applied two coats of the Zachary color to the entire base using their ultra smooth two inch flat brush.
To seal in my paint, I am using the beeswax in the clear and I'm just applying that with a microfiber cloth and rubbing it in. Once I applied it all over to the base, I took a clean microfiber cloth and just buffed back any excess. To protect the top, I am using their tabletop finish in the flat, and it's a really durable top coat. It goes on really milky, but it does dry crystal clear, and it actually dries really fast um, to the touch. So if you don't want to wait several hours for something to dry, this is a great option. Since I was putting the base on back in a different direction, I used my drill to drill some pilot holes, and then I screwed everything into place. Alright, and then let's take a look back and remember what we started with before we get into the final look. And here is the final look. As always, let me know what you guys think below in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time with another flip.